Hey guys, welcome to Led by God Ministries. This is your girl. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I have a word for you guys today, okay? Uh, first of all, let's go into prayer because we need the Holy Spirit to lead us, okay? Heavenly Father, we call out to you. We thank you. We glorify you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We lift you up. We bless you. We bless your holy name. We leave all of this into the Holy Spirit's um voice let this let it be the holy spirit that speaks through me so holy spirit i call out to you and i and i let it i ask you to let it all be you none of me all of you none of me all of you and none of me i be, i invite you in oh holy spirit i ask you to lead the word and let me just be the vessel the vessel that you work through and speak through the servant that serves you oh heavenly father Oh, good. Oh, Heavenly Father, you're so good to each and every one of us. Thank you so much for your grace and your mercy upon the nations, dear Heavenly Father, upon my family, upon my children, upon me, dear Heavenly Father. I thank you so much for all that you've done for us, all that you're doing for us, and all that you're about to do for us. Have your way and let your will be done, dear Heavenly Father, so it is on heaven as it is on earth, dear Heavenly Father, so it is as on earth as it is in heaven. Let us bound up anything that is of the enemy, dear Heavenly Father, that may come against this word. Let us bound monitoring spirits. Let's, let's um, rebuke them in the mighty name of the Messiah, Yeshua. I rebuke every monitoring spirit. I rebuke every plan of the anyone, any enemy. I rebuke, I rebuke, I rebuke the devil. I rebuke Lucifer. I rebuke Satan. I rebuke every enemy, every demon, demonic force in the spiritual realm and in the natural realm. I, I come against every witch, warlock, wizard, voodoo doctor, voodoo worshiper, sorcery, any type of um, magic, any type of magic because there's no good magic. I come against all of it in the mighty name of the Messiah, Yeshua. And I ask that you, O oh Heavenly Father, put your hand on this word. Put your, your voice in it, dear Heavenly Father. Let your spirit run this, this word. That your children will receive the word, dear Heavenly Father. That all of your children that have a stray to come back to you, O oh Heavenly Father. For you said not one soul left behind. I'm led to hear, and I'm hearing right now, when um, Moses was um, with the sheep. It was a hundred sheep, but one got away. One of the sheep got away, and Moses went after the one. It's just like the same thing with with Yeshua, with the um, with Yahuwah, Yahweh, and and the Holy Spirit saying, "Not one soul left behind, right? Not one soul left behind." When Moses went after that one sheep and left the ninety nine, he went after that one sheep because we're not letting one sheep be left behind. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, I want to come to the book of John right now, okay? In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. He was with God in the beginning. He was with God in the beginning, through him all things were made without him nothing was made that was that has been made in him was life and that life was the light of man all mankind excuse me that light was the life in him was life verse 4 chapter 1 in john verse 4 in him was life and in that life was the light of all mankind life light of all mankind the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it there was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light. So that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Something was coming. Someone 
was coming. This light was coming. This light is coming. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. This true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. This light was on its way. He was in the world and though the world was made through him, my Lord, the world did not recognize him. Aparoko. Listen, listen, listen. He was in the world. And though the world was made through him, he was in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Papa. He came to that which was his own. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Listen, listen, listen. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. He gave the right to become children of God because they believed. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or husband's will, but born of God. The word, listen, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us my lord right there he that has eyes let them see he that has ears let them hear the word of god the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Yeshua came from the Father. To us here on earth, dwelling amongst us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. I'm just trying to tell you guys who Yeshua is. Not was, but is still today. Then we come down to verse 14. John chapter 1 verse 14. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. He was amongst us. He is amongst us. He is still amongst us. Still working. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the heavens to the earth, who came from the father, full of grace and truth. Dwelling amongst us.
Come on. Okay. That was John chapter 1, right? Listen, listen, listen. I'm in, I, I've turned to Matthew, okay? And I'm going to read chapter 1, verses 18. This is how the birth of Yeshua, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. She was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, John of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the holy spirit who is the holy spirit you'll ask who's the holy spirit the holy spirit is god she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name yeshua a lot of people know him as jesus i say yeshua because he will save his people from their sins all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. And they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. What does Emmanuel mean? God with us. Okay. Okay. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1, verses 26. Then God said, this is in the beginning. Then God said, let us, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea, and the birds in the sky over livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the so he's given man dominion but he said let us who is us who is us if god is saying let us make mankind in our image okay so let's go over here to we're going to go back to John, right? Because, okay. So I'm going to read out of verse 8. <clears throat> out of verse 8, okay? I just want, I, I'm, I'm just trying to take you guys there to who Yeshua is. Who Jesus is, okay? Who is he, okay? So it, it, I could take you guys... Okay, I'm going to take you guys to Okay. So just so so you, so you can get the whole feel of it. I'm going to read chapter 8 in John verses from 39 on to uh 58, okay? Abraham is our father, they answered. We're talking about the uh the Sadducees and, you know, those ones that wear the outer garment, but no, don't have any works. Okay. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the elders, they call themselves and things of that nature. Okay. All right. So let's go there. Abraham is our father. They answered, if you were Abraham's children, said Yeshua, then you would do what Abraham did. 
as it is, you are looking for a way to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the works of your own father. And I know that this is a lot of lot, a lot of like story in it, but I want you guys to understand who Yeshua is, okay? We are not um, illegitimate children they protested the only father we have is god himself yeshua said to them if god were your father you would love me for i have come here from god i have not come on my own god sent me why is my language not clear to you because you are unable to hear what i say you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. Desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Because you know when you're filled with the Holy Spirit and you know God, you know God is going to tell the truth and he's going to tell only the truth, okay? Yeshua claims about, about himself. The Jews answered him, aren't we right in saying that you are a Samaritan and, and demon possessed? I am not possessed by a demon, said Yeshua, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. I am not seeking glory for myself, but there is one who seeks it and he is the judge. Very truly, I tell you, whoever obeys my word will never see death. At this, they exclaimed. Now we know that you are demon possessed. Abraham died and so did the prophets. Yet you say that whoever obeys your word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham? He died and so did the prophets. Who do you think you are? Yeshua replied, If I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. Though you do not know him, I know him. If I said I did not, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him and obey his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. You are not yet 50 years old, they said to him. And you have seen Abraham? Very truly, I tell you, Yeshua answered. Before Abraham was born, I am. Abaroko, Abaroko. And then they picked up stones to stone him just because of what he said. Okay. Now, who said, I am who I am when Moses was in the mountains with who? God, right? So Yeshua said the same thing I am. Before Abraham was born, I am. So who does that say he is? Okay. So let's go to the scriptures of when the disciples asked Yeshua, when do we get to meet the father? 